everyone, welcome to Hampton Your House. It's time for a budget office makeover. My name is Belle and my channel is all about bringing the Coastal Hamptons vibe to your house with lots of DIYs, tips and tricks. So I hope you'll stick around and subscribe by hitting the red button and the notification bell so you won't miss any new videos. I recently put out a video about industrial Hampton style, which is basically just adding a bit of an industrial edge to your Hampton style decor. And I was so inspired that I thought I would give my desk area a bit of a facelift, inspired by the industrial Hamptons look. I won't be making any huge changes today, but I've found some beautiful things from Kmart that I can work with on a small budget. And I have some great DIYs in the mix too, along with my tip for organizing paper clutter. So make sure you watch all the way to the end so you don't miss anything. First things first, I'm gonna clear the space. To start with a natural fibre touch, I found this awesome hessian table runner for $4 at Kmart. It's very long but you can easily cut it to the right size and make a quick seam with some hot glue if you need to. I was so happy when I found this gorgeous stripy pencil case for $4, perfect for keeping pens out of the way of little fingers. My next addition is a five pack of manila folders for $3 with cute designs on them. Some of these will go in the filing cabinet, but this blue and white one will go perfectly with my on the desk set of action folders and brings a bit more of a subtle coastal look. I think this black and wood look desk lamp goes perfectly with a functional industrial Hamptons vibe. I actually got this one from Target and it's no longer available, but there's a very similar one from Kmart for only $20. I love that it has a USB charging port in the side. Next up I wanted some clipboards so I could clip important papers to them and avoid that out of sight out of mind problem. I thought I'd dress them up with some $3 rolls of marble vinyl adhesive from Kmart. First, make a paper template the size and shape of the clip, then cut out some vinyl adhesive for the front of the clipboard, leaving at least 3cm of overlap on all sides. Then measure out the spot where your template needs to be and trace it onto the back of the vinyl adhesive. Cut the hole out for the clip. Carefully peel the back layer off the vinyl adhesive to just below the hole and fold it over. Then slide the adhesive over the clip and make sure the top edge of the hole slides underneath the clip, then press it down. Make two cuts on the corners and fold the flaps to the back. Cut the triangle edges off the flaps and fold the top flap to the back. Grab the backing paper and slowly peel it away, smoothing the adhesive down to the clipboard as you go, making sure you get any bubbles out. Repeat the process for the corners. Cut all the triangle pieces off and smooth the flaps down onto the back. Cut another 
piece of vinyl adhesive to size to fit over the back to cover the flaps and round off the corners. Then peel off the top section of the backing and stick the adhesive down slowly making sure it's very straight. I made five of these and the idea is to have one for each category that you regularly get paper clutter from but you don't want to put it away in a file because you just might forget about it. I made some labels so that I can then just flip through the clipboards and easily see all of my important papers and to-do lists from different categories at a glance and it doesn't look like paper clutter anymore. I found this gorgeous basket for $5 from Kmart to put them in and you can either stand them up against the wall so you can easily see them or fit them lying down inside the basket. I need a little touch of greenery so I grabbed this $5 bunch of lavender and ferns and a vase I already had to liven up the space. Last of all, I need to move my gorgeous Santorini canvas. Don't worry, it's going up somewhere else. And I'm going to make some new artworks using the stencils I made for my Moroccan tile posters. I'll link that video for you. I decided to use watercolour paints this time, so I started with a test strip so I could try out different colour combinations and techniques. I haven't used watercolours much, so this involved a fair bit of trial and error, but I definitely recommend it. It's lots of fun. I decided to make my stencils into a diamond shape on the paper. These frames were $6 each from Kmart. I chose the black frames for another industrial inspired touch to give the industrial Hamptons look and I removed the glass to give the artwork a matte finish look. And my simple industrial Hamptons inspired office makeover is complete. Well, I don't know about you, but for me, having an inspiring place to work makes all the difference when it comes to being organized and productive. And updating even just a small space can really give you a fresh new perspective and the motivation to try organizing and updating another space in your home. I'm really loving this new look and my new organization system with the clipboards. If you try this out, you'll have to let me know if it works well for you too. Well guys, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this little office makeover don't forget to check out my other videos and subscribe for more and thank you so much for watching I'll see you next time bye guys